The affirmative repositioning movement has been rife at improving socio-economic conditions of urban youth. New Era posed the question to its member if they would be starting a political party in the near future. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's an everyday question that uh, we, we get. I mean, I look at myself, I'm just, what, 24. Um, and uh, I look at the guys, the position where they want to place me, and I'm thinking to myself, how do you add a 24-year-old to, with, without experience to probably to even run a government ministry? Uh, probably uh, administer a department, yes, but not really uh, take charge of the government ministry. I mean, we, 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 we as a movement are concentrated on one thing. Uh, one is that we want to awaken a generation. That is our day-to-day -day job. We want to ensure that there is constant information, constant uh, discussions and debates amongst young people to see what is right and what is wrong. What is Because the future is not determined. You know? I cannot sit here and tell you, no, uh, I'm going to become the president of this country in the next 20 years. What if I die tomorrow? But that shouldn't be the case. The, the case should be that uh, the young people must take charge of affirmative repositioning movement and drive it towards a course where they see it fit. I, the, the answer, I think, should be left to, to others to, 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 to digest and see really the results of what is coming. You see, if we are working towards a non-tribal uh, line movement, a non-racial line movement, and working towards uh, the betterment of Namibia, the, the end game must be better Namibia, not before us. So we must place Namibia before us and see how we can find whether it's through a political party, through what what. But the young people must ultimately um, be able to, to define that that question for us and probably provide answers for that question as well.